I know I look a little bit different, don't have my apron on, but I got to tell you something. I'm heading over to uh, my buddy Matt and Hannah's house. They've invited me over. It's a recipe I've wanted for six months. I found out they have a lazy man gumbo recipe and they're from Louisiana, so they know gumbo. But I found out they have a lazy man gumbo recipe. So I'm gonna hop in the car, we're gonna go rogue, man. We're going to their house. And I'm gonna film them making it because they're making it today. They invited me over, we're just stopping the show and we're going over there. So let's get in the car, we'll head over there right now and I will see you at Matt and Hannah's house. Hi. The coolest couple ever. <laughs> and you guys are so cool. Now, you're, you're both from Louisiana or he's from Louisiana? We're both. both from Louisiana. Okay, and you, so you've had the world's greatest gumbo in your life. Yes. And where was that? The best you've ever had? Uh, mm, I would, I my, I would have to say mine was in, uh, mine was probably in Grand Cato, a seafood gumbo in Grand Cato, Louisiana. Okay, and I don't know where that is, but uh, people in Louisiana are all, yeah, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah I guess the, the greatest gumbo I've had is homemade, so uh -huh. it would be a variety of people that make it. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, my favorite Cajun restaurant would probably be either Bhutan's or uh, Ralph and Kaku's. <laughs> All right, where are those located? Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Yeah. Bhutan's is a, uh, it's a, it's, kind of they have Zydeco music while you're eating. Yeah. You can get up on the dance floor. It's actually overlooking a swamp. And Ralph and Kaku's, <laughs> Ralph and Kaku's is a, is a staple in, in Louisiana. It's, they've been around for years and years and years. And, uh, it's always fun. You go into Ralph and Kaku's and you see somebody from, from the north come down and they'll put crawfish on their plate and they're like, how do I eat this? And yeah. like the music <laughs> stops. <laughs> like everyone turns and looks at them and is like, get out, you know? It's like when they say, <laughs> or you'll like, be our next this, boil. this sauce is from New York City in a row, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's really the fried oysters, the, the shrimp po' boy, crawfish etouffee, catfish cuvillon. Look at you guys. You can tell you miss home and yes. smiles come up. <laughs> You, you know all that good food down there. Yeah, it's great. It's all really right. Good. And then whose recipe is this? You guys came up with it together? Well, it, it's kind of morphed over time. Mm -hmm. Like we, we wanted to cook a gumbo, but we didn't want to spend all the time that it takes to cook a gumbo. So and cooking a roux is difficult. Right. If you, if you mess up the roux, You're you done. have to start all and over. I, and right. I, I'm, I've messed up many. I don't think I've ever had a successful roux. But I, I saw this, let me grab it, All right. in the store. Let me get a close up, go ahead. And it's it's the cheat for it's Roo. It's the cheat. <laughs> now this is, this is from Louisiana, right? Yeah. But you can order it online. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. And you would say that's the best Roo mix? Yes. Uh, yes, I haven't really tried anything because I used that and it was great, so. And Savoy's makes uh, sausage, yeah. Roo mix, and it's all, Everything. It's, it's, a, it's a cheat, but it's, it's from Louisiana, so it's done right. It's yeah. good cheat. <laughs> yeah, right. it's an authorized cheat. Yes. Will you That's do a beignet cool. video with me later another time? I've never made them, but um, yeah. when Yvonne comes in, we should have her. I'll yeah, come down, is. you let me know when. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. if it's around the holidays, whenever, and I'll be yeah. there. I just want to see the powdered sugar fly around the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, That's that, all I care that's about. Great. Yeah, that's, that's the best. That's, uh, we do beignets every Christmas. So. Okay, so so let's run down what we have. Um, we're now. This is the best thing ever. I know that a lot of people shortcut with the roasted chicken at the store. Mm -hmm. They just grab it; it's already cooked. Yeah. You tear it up and you use it for your whatever recipe. Yeah. So we got the roasted chicken, and then this is a uh, a seasoning blend: uh, diced green and red peppers, onion, celery, and then we have. Uh, chicken, uh, it's chicken, yeah, there it is, bullion cubes, there you go, all right, and then, is this okay, I, I, I picked up all these ingredients off your list, yeah, it's a raging Cajun, that's fine, yeah, that's awesome. the, um, sausage. the guy said this was the best one of them all, andouille yeah. sausage, uh, when they make andouille sausage, the, the holes of the grinder are a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. whereas regular smoked sausage, the holes are a little bit finer, so a lot of people like to use uh, chicken and andouille sausage in there, because it gives more of a flavor and, and more of a hearty, and uh, hearty a, bite. Has a big roll. Mm -hmm. and, okay. And you, can, you know we're gonna get comments on that, right? I don't know. Absolutely. It's gonna fly. All right. Just wanted to let you know. Okay. And you can what? And you can use a smoked sausage or a spicy sausage, any kind you want, whatever your because you're gonna brown it. So. I saw rage and Cajun. I had yeah. Grab it. <laughs> if you got the word Cajun on there, and then of course we just talked about that. Yes. And then butter, margarine, country crock, anything like that. Yes. All right. And that's it. 
That's it. That's it. Wow. Okay, now, my, this is so cool that the two of you work together in the kitchen. Um, my wife, you know, I always say she can burn cereal, but, uh, but I love her to death. She literally brings home the bacon and I fry it up in a pan. That's basically what I <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, so you're browning these, right? These vegetables, kind right. of, or you? We're gonna, uh, yeah, saute them down so they kind of get that, that caramel color to uh -huh. them. Cool. Awesome. And the butter helps with that. It gives it kind of more of a caramelized. Very cool. All right, so we're doing that. And then you're going to be uh, browning up the sausage too in a separate pan? Uh, the same actually, pan? actually, what I'm going to do is um, put it in the same pan when oh, that's okay. done. Awesome. And usually it's done when I'm done cutting this up. Oh, okay. It doesn't take very long. And by the way, once again, all the measurements will be down below in the description box. We'll have the recipe for you guys. While they're pouring out the water, I'll have exact measurements uh, down below. So you said it, so it's a quarter, uh, four cups of water and seven heaping tablespoons. Is that what you said, right? Seven? Yes. Okay. And that's on the bottle. Yep, on the bottle, got it. All right, so we're waiting for the water to boil. Once again, you've got to have the water boiling before you put the mix in. That's just the way it is. You're gonna have some clumpy, uh, clumpy roux. Okay, so what do we got here? This is the infamous Tony Sacheries. The infamous. <laughs> is that even a real person or just a character they've created? I think it's a character, but uh, based on a real person. Uh huh. <laughs> so you put some Creole so, seasoning in there? I do, I add it to the um, sauteing onions mix. All right. And it gives it a little spice. So. Awesome. And do the kids like the gumbo? Yes, they love it. They love it, love it. awesome. Mama! Oh, oh wait, that, Mama. that's why she's standing here waiting yes. for some. Love you like that. Gumbo? You like gumbo? Good. Okay, so we tore that. We tore that chicken up. It's all torn up right now, and uh, got the kitchen shears shredding it all up. Oh, so you're okay. You're putting the sausage in with the cooking onions, yeah, right? Yeah, because the sausage is already cooked. It just needs to be it just warmed up. Brown. Okay, so we're putting the bouillon cubes in. Yes. And you can use chicken broth. Right. But I like the bouillon cubes because it's, uh, it's saltier. This saltier gives it more flavor. I see. So, so you could could I use instead of water use chicken broth and boil? You could, yeah. To make my roux. You could. Oh, that's interesting. I'm sure some people try that, but this is how we're doing it today. So this, this is the way minutes. I like it. Yeah. And there are healthier alternatives like. You can put your own spin on it, make it healthier, less sodium. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. But I like the sodium. So. <laughs> what do you got? This is the room mix. Um, yep. You just follow the, the instructions. Now notice how he's sprinkling a little, stirring a little, sprinkling a little. You don't want to just jump, drop it right in like that. No. Take your time. Show it a little love, right? That's what you like to say. Yeah. Ah, that's it. That's the little chef right there. And Matt is actually the cook. The is he? He's the chef, yes. I'll tell you, when we went and did Cajun food together, his palate is amazing. Yes. He was tearing it up. Okay, so it's thickened up real nice. We're browning over there, and now we've got the goodness over here. What are we doing? We're going to go ahead and put this all together so it gets yeah. the same flavor. Awesome. So we're going to kind of meld those flavors together. Just add a little more seasoning. And yeah, you can never have enough Cajun seasoning, ever. Creole is awesome. All right, so we're going to make it happen. Yeah, look at And look how he carefully does it. Me, what would I do on my show? Yep, I would tip it over and it would fall all over the place, but he's doing a little spatula at a time. Not gonna rush this, because once again, gumbo is like art. And this is just lazy man art going on. That's all that's happening. Okay, so I'm looking at four bowls. So it's me, you, your lovely wife. Uh, am I getting two of these or what? Two kids. Oh, crud, I gotta share. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just chat for a minute while it's cooling. If you guys want me to talk to them about a beignet video, let me know. And if you've had beignets, let me know where you've had them. Have you been down to Louisiana? Have you been to the French Quarters? What's the place called? Cafe du Monde? Cafe du Monde. Cafe du Monde. And if you have been there, have you tried beignets? Do you even know what a beignet is? Leave it down in the comments, let me know. If you wanna see that video, you just love burying your face in beignets. Okay, so one of two things is gonna happen. 
That's either gonna fall or I'm gonna burn my mouth trying to catch it. Here we go. Mm, mm. It's worth the burn. It is worth the burn. <coughs> it's spicy. First thing I taste is the rice, then the sauce comes right behind it. <coughs> Leave it running. <coughs> this is good stuff. Right in the back of your throat. You know it's Cajun if it's in the back of your throat. Okay? Hispanics, Mexican food, the tip, Cajun in the back. I'm telling you, it's awesome. This is so good. Lazy man recipe. There it is. Let's see what they think about it. Here we go. It goes straight to the back of your throat, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. You're going to love think, it. I think that has to do with your spicy sausage. Oh, the, yeah? The Raging Cajun. <coughs> Very good. <laughs> Sorry. Very good. <laughs> okay, stud. Look at that. Look at this. He gets serious. <laughs> Food is an art form to him. Look at that. Look at that. It's like watching an animal in its habitat. <laughs> so good. Needs good. A, needs a little more spice. A little more? What? Oh, dude! You, th you thought yours was too hot? I'm such a girly girl. What are you? What are you? What are you doing? He's putting it straight in, guys. Putting it straight in. Well, and that's <clears throat> the good thing about Tony Sastry's is that it's got a good balance of flavors. Right. A lot of those those uh. Those seasonals, they're highly, highly salt. Mm -hmm. And you just get very salty with a kick, whereas this, is it, it's, got a, it's got a full uh, palette of flavors. Well, I just want to say thank you guys for having me over to your home. Uh, your family's beautiful, you guys are awesome. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll be able to talk to you into more recipes. Sure, yeah. All right. Crawfish <laughs> etouffee next time.